Welcome to Online Maths TV. My name is Jake's Animal, and this is where you learn mathematics every day. Here we have a challenge on the board. It's an Olipad question, Olipad mathematical challenge. The question reads 16 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x equal to 2 times 3 to the power of 2x. What there would be the possible value of x? But before we go to today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video, awesome video, powerful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. We pull down our question here. So we take a solution, selection. Okay, so we put it on our question, which is 16 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x equal to 2 times 3 or to the power of 2x. Here we can rewrite this. Okay, according to the law of indices, we say that if you have a to the power of m, okay, n, then this is the same thing as a to the power of m bracket plus or to the power of n. Okay, so we can separate these two and this x. And so we're going to have this to be 16 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x equal to your 2 dot 3 to the power of 2 or to the power of x. Okay, now 3 to the power of 2 will give us 9. And so we have this to be 16 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x equal to 2 dot 9 to the power of x. So what we do here now is we divide through by 9 to the power of x so that the right hand side will just carry your constant 10. And so from here when I say divide, divide true, divide true by 9 to the power of x. And so if we do that, we're going to divide 16 to the power of x all over 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x all over 9 to the power of x equal to 2 dot 9 to the power of x all over 9 to the power of x. Good. Very easy. At this point, the numerator here will cancel the denominator here. And so we are left with just 2 on the left-hand side. Now we can rewrite this expression here because according to the law of indices again, it says that if you have a to the power of um, x all over b to the power of x. This is the same thing as a all over b all to the power of x. So here we cannot rewrite this based on this law as our 16 all over 9 all to the power of x plus 12 all over 9 all to the power of x equal to 2. Here Nothing can divide this and this, but here three can go into this and three can go into this. So let's try to factorize this. But 16 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square, and so we can now rewrite this as 16 is same thing as 4 to the power of 2 all over 3, this to the power of 2 all to the power of x plus here. What can divide this and this is 3, so 3 here we're going to have. 4 and 3 are going to have 3 all to the power of x equal to 2. Okay, let's proceed on this other side. Let's proceed, proceed here and get a, a rid of this. Let's get rid of this. All right, now we can rewrite this by bringing out the square here and ship in our x according to the law of indices I just brought out now. And so rewriting this, this is going to give us here your 4 all over 3 all to the power of x or into a square bracket here 2 okay that plus the plus 4 all over 3 all to the power of x equal to 2 very easy okay now we look at this if you check carefully you discover that what we have in the two brackets are the same and they are raised to x, this one is also raised to x. So we can bring in another alphabet here to represent what we have in the bracket. So we can also say here, let u, let's use u equal to your 4 
all over 3 all to the power of x. So whenever we see 4 all over 3 to the power of x, we put in u in there. All right. So this expression will now become your u squared plus u equal to 2. Bring this to the left hand side. And so this becomes u squared plus u minus 2 equal to 0. Because here we have invisible plus, and when it crosses the sign of equality to this side, it turns to minus. Automatically, this is a quadratic equation. Okay, so how do we now solve this quadratic equation? We can use factorization method. Very easy. So we bring out all the factors of 2. Now, what are the factors of 2? We have here uh, 2, we have 1 and 2. So among the factors of these two now, let's pick two numbers that when we multiply together will give us minus two, added together will give us plus one. So the two numbers great will give us here, u squared, okay, minus um, two u, uh, sorry, plus two u minus u minus two equal to zero. So of course we're going to have plus two and minus one, okay? plus 2 minus 1 from here. All right. So from here, we cannot put these two in brackets, put this and this in bracket, this and this, and factor out what is common. So from here, u is common. So we have u bracket u, u into u squared, are left with u, then plus u into 2u, we are left with 2, then minus. Here we have 1 is common to this. So we have here 1, bracket so one into u will give us here your u will remain here minus into minus will give us plus the two are equal to zero these and these are the same so we take these terms that are outside and one of them here so this will now give us u minus one bracket 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 u plus two are equal to zero good now, at this point, we succumb to the zero product rule, whereby we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. If we go by that, we're going to have u minus one equal to zero, or u minus two, sorry, plus two equal to zero. Good, so we now have this to be, collecting your items, we have u equal to plus one, or they will have u equal to minus two. Two. Now, recall we don't have u at the initial equation. We only have x. So that brings up to where we said let u equal to this. So whenever we see u, we put in 4 all over 3 to the power of x. And so go by that. We cannot say here, recall, recall that we said let u equal to 4 all over 3, all to the power of x. So whenever we see, um, u we put in this value so let's look at our case one case one we're going to have u which is four uh, four all over three all to the power of x equal to one okay so let's proceed from here now from here we are having one on this other side but remember the law again if we say that any number raised to zero is equal to one Okay, the law of indices, we say that if you have your a to the power of zero, this is equal to one. So we can equally put everything we have here in place of one, then raise it to zero. And so we're going to have this to be, uh, this now implies your four all over three to the power of x equal to four all over three all to the power of zero, because this is one. Now the bases are the same. And so we can cancel out the basis and equate the exponent so these and these will leave and so we now have our x equal to zero this is the first possible value for our x okay now let's look at the second case which is case two okay case two we have here case two we have our u case two u is equal to minus two from here, if we put in our u into the system, we're going to have this to be your 4 all over 3 all to the power of x equal to minus 2. Here comes the challenge or the problem, okay? 
With this, we cannot um, uh, manipulate this, but I'm going to use a special formula, okay, given by Euler, okay? So, I want to manipulate minus 2 from Euler's equation. Now, look at what Euler equation says. According to Euler, it said that e to the power of your pi i plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. If we decide to move one to this other side, we're going to have here e to the power of pi i equal to minus 1. Now, look at what I want to do here now. I want to bring out this minus 2 from this expression. What am I going to do? I want to multiply both sides by 2. So if I do that, we're going to have this to be 2 into your e to the power of pi i equal to your minus 2. Because 2 multiplied by minus 1 will give us minus 2. What we have here now is what we have here now. In other words, whenever we see minus 2, we can put in this expression on the left-hand side. And so, we can now rewrite this equation as your 4 all over 3 all to the power of x, okay, equal to this expression here now, which is 2 e to the power of pi i. Okay, mind you, where i in this expression is an uh, uh, imaginary number. Okay, so we have imaginary number, but your pi here is a real number. So we have an imaginary number multiplied by a real number. Okay, so let's go on from here again. Let's go on from here again and see what this gives us in turn. The essence of doing this is to, you know, get our x. Now, how do we not get our x? I'm going to introduce your natural log, your i n. Okay, so let's break it i n to both sides. So we're going to have here i n. 4 all over 3 all to the power of your x equal to i n to this other side so we have i n your 2 e to the power of pi i now according to the law of logarithm which says that if you have log m to the power of p okay uh, base k bring this guy back and so we're going to have this to be your p log your m base k. So if we apply this law here, this guy will come back. And so we're going to have this to be your s i n into your 4 all over 3 close bracket equal to i n 2 e to the power of pi i. Good. Yeah, we cannot divide through by i n 4 all over 3. So if we do that, we're going to say divide by i n 4 all over 3 close bracket, yeah, all over i n, 4, all over 3, close bracket. And so, the left-hand side, this and this will leave. So, um, yeah. yeah, now we are now left with our x, which is what we're looking for, is equal to your i n, 2, e to the power of pi, i, all over i n, bracket, 4, all over 3. Now, we can express this according to the law of log reading by the law of division which says that if you have your log m all over n base a this is same thing as log your uh, m the a minus log n base a so if we apply this law yeah we're going to have this to be your x equal to your n 2 e to the power of pi i all over your i n 4 minus i n 3. Okay? And so this is the value for your second x. Okay? The value, second value of your x. Okay, this marks the end of this uh, Olympiad challenge, okay? If you learn something special from this uh, video, drop it in the comment section, okay? And if you, uh, you like what is going on in this channel, give the video a thumbs up, okay? Because you have to fast track the growth of this channel. Remember, this is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake's Animo. I love you so much. All of us at Online Mass TV love you so much because you are always there. We're proud of you, and we promise to bring the best to you at all times. Thanks once again. Bye for now.